Going abroad is a wonderful experience for many people. It represents a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to get outside of their current cultural context to experience something completely different. This process, while exciting and joyous, can also be extremely difficult. Feeling out of place and uncomfortable are difficult feelings to get used to, and it is important to be aware of the toll that studying abroad can take on your mental health. Do you remember how nervous you were when you got to Villanova at the beginning of your first year? A lot of people can experience that same anxiety and nervousness when participating in a study abroad program. The biggest difference, however, is that when you go through these emotions abroad, you are likely in a place that you've never been before and in a culture that is very different from your own. Students often report feelings of anxiety and difficulty adjusting in the first few weeks of their study abroad experience. You may feel very isolated and worried that these feelings will last for the duration of your program. Just remember that these feelings are totally normal and that there are resources and people on the ground that can help you sort through them. Don't hesitate to ask for help. Recognize, too, that these feelings can manifest in different ways, like irritability, trouble sleeping, and difficulty paying attention. Here are a few tips to help manage the initial stress of adjusting to your new environment. Make exercise a regular part of your day. Pay attention to good nutrition. Allow enough time for adequate sleep at night. Balance time working with time for relaxing. Take timeouts. Schedule breaks throughout your day to relax and maintain perspective. Stay connected with friends, family, and your in-country community. Be open to discussing any problems and feelings. For some, the expectation is that everything is fun and easy the entire time while you're abroad, because this is what you see other people posting on social media. This is not the reality for everyone, and in fact, while these initial struggles can be challenging, if you're able to work through them and really sink your teeth into the experience, it can make your time abroad even more meaningful. Of course, if these feelings persist for longer than you're comfortable with, or if they become more disruptive to your everyday activities, you should always reach out to someone who can help. We work with great staff abroad who often have first-hand experiences dealing with these kinds of issues, and as such, they can be a useful resource for you. Your study abroad advisors back on campus can also help guide you to additional resources abroad, so don't hesitate to reach out to the OEA. If you would like to make an appointment to speak with a mental health professional, that is something that ISOS and your program will be able to help you arrange. If you have already been working with a mental health professional before going abroad, we suggest working closely with your counselor to develop a plan to address your needs and plan for possible challenges that you might face. If you're on prescription medication for any mental health conditions, make sure you can continue taking your medication while abroad. You should not plan to stop or alter any medications or treatments that are currently prescribed to you. This means that you may need to work with your doctor and international SOS to ensure that you have a supply of any medications. You may also need to work with your doctor to ensure that you're able to get refills while abroad if necessary. There isn't a one-size-fits-all solution to maintaining your mental health abroad. Your strategy may look different than those around you, but it's important to have a plan in place and to know where to get help if and when you need it.